Hey, what's up, Pink Bike? This is Azul with Bell Helmets. I'm here with senior mechanical engineer, Eamon Briggs, who worked on the Super 2R project. We've been really excited to see the positive response of our new helmet. So we wanna bring you inside our in-house testing facility in the Santa Cruz Mountains, here at the Dome at Bell headquarters to give you a first-hand perspective of what we did to bring this product to market. Come on in. Here we are inside the dome in front of our testing rig that we use to test every helmet from motorcycle helmets to bicycle helmets. But today we want to talk to you about uh, the standard chin bar test that goes into a downhill certification. It should be noted that you can pass the downhill certification without a chin bar. It's only when you add a chin bar that they add this additional test. So Eamon's going to tell you about what that test entails. So what we have here is modeled after the standard downhill chin bar deflection test. The helmet is fixed at the base of the test fixture and then we've got a mass that we drop from a prescribed height. Three, two, one. So primarily uh, we're measuring the deflection of the chin bar, but we're also looking very you know, looking to see if the chin bar uh, breaks in any way, if the mounting of the chin bar to the helmet is sacrificed. So we, uh, we always go above and beyond the established chin bar testing, and uh, we've done this uh, second test where we install an instrumented head form into a helmet and drop that combination of head form and helmet onto an anvil. So we realized that uh, the previous tests don't replicate the way people actually fall out on the trail, so we built this. So we hope you appreciated this little glimpse behind the doors of the dome here at Bell Headquarters up in the Santa Cruz Mountains to get a first-hand perspective on what testing protocols we put this helmet through before we bring it to market. 